Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to unroot the Nexus 5 on a Windows computer. If you guys are actually interested in how to unroot it on a Mac computer, you can hit, you can click on an answer session somewhere here on the screen or there's also a link provided down below in the video description so we, you can go ahead and get it for Mac. But for this video, it's all about Windows for unrooting the Nexus 5. And if you guys need to unroot the Nexus 5 to send it back to the carrier, manufacturer, um, you know, um, even Google, or if you just want to unroot it because you really don't need to run a custom ROM or even have root access, this is a great method. And this method will restore to 1% 1 1 completely stock just just like the day you bought it, so all your custom recovery is going to be gone, custom ROM is going to be gone, root's going to be gone, and your bootloader will be locked. So it's going to look exactly the same, run as the same as you first bought it. If that's what you want, this is going to work. Um, and also this method will also uh, unbreak your phone. Um, so let's say you're in a boot loop uh, constantly, you can't get out of it, you try doing a factory reset and all that good stuff and you still can't uh, fix it, this method will also fix a boot loop as well. Um, one thing to know before you actually go and get started is just make sure that you backed up all your important information to your computer or to the cloud as this will remove all your apps, all your settings, data, music, movies, literally everything off your phone will be removed. So make sure you do back it up somewhere except your phone um, so you don't lose that information, especially all the important information that you really do need, contacts, text messages, if anything that you need, make sure you back it up somewhere but your phone. All right, so as long as we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started by first powering off our phone. So go and power it off, and we're gonna go ahead and enter into bootloader mode once it's done. All right, so now we're gonna press the volume up, volume down, and our power button all at the same time. And once you do feel a vibration, let go the power. All right, vibration, let go the power, and you'll be at this green start screen with this Android guy right here. And your bootloader should already be unlocked because you rooted it, or even if you were bricked, uh, don't worry about that, it'll still fix the brick. Uh, problem, but let's go ahead and now plug in our phone via micro USB to our Windows computer and then we're going to go ahead down to our Windows computer and uh, do some things on there. Let's do this. Alright, so as you can see on the screen we have a folder called right here, it's called Unroot Nexus 5. Of course you can go and grab this file in the link down below. Uh, so just download this zip file from the link in the video description down below um, and go and unzip this folder once you do download it. Uh, actually that file and you'll get a folder once you do unzip it and make sure this folder is on your desktop. Put it on your desktop, or you will run into problems when we're doing uh, when we run command prompt. So make sure this folder is on your desktop, please, guys, or you will run into problems. And I'm not going to help you because I already warned you like three times in these few seconds. Uh, so make sure it's here. Uh, if you go and open it up, you can see we have all the files that we need for our Windows uh, procedure to unroot this Nexus 5 bad boy. And also we have USB drivers right here. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead, and you should also open up uh, Device Manager. Um, so go ahead and open up Device Manager right here. Um, just search in the little start bar in the bottom left hand corner. Um, and you should have something called Android Device and under that you should have Android Bootloader Interface. Um, if you don't have Android Bootloader Interface or if you have a triangle next to either one of these, um, make sure you install those drivers. Uh, so you can just right click on it, uh, select Update Drivers, um, uh, choose uh, Browse My Computer for Driver Software, uh, click on Browse and locate that one folder that I just showed you. So unroot Nexus 5, right here, unroot Nexus 5, and then go all the way down to USB drivers, and just select the big folder, USB driver folder, okay? Make sure include subfolders is checkmarked, and then just click next, and you'll be fine. Let's keep going next, next, then you'll eventually uh, install the correct drivers, and that triangle will go away from there. Um, so that's just for the people who don't have the proper drivers installed. If you do, you're fine, but just make sure though uh, you don't run any problems later on. So now go ahead and open a command prompt. You can just search this application once again in the start bar in the bottom left hand corner of your Windows computer. Um, I'm using Windows 8, but it'll work with Windows 7 or XP and all that. It's the same thing just about. Um, so you have nothing to worry about there. And it's good I'm using Windows 8 just in case, you know, the newest platform I like to be on there for you guys as you may run new problems with a newer operating system. But I haven't run into any so far so that's good for Windows 8 if you're running on it. Um, so first thing we're doing is typing in CD desktop, enter, then CD, unroot Nexus 5 because that's the folder we want to get to, enter, and then we're going to type in fastboot space flash bootloader or flash space bootloader then we type in bootloader again and press tab and as you can see it automatically filled in the rest of the file for you so that's awesome. 
right there and we're gonna go and press enter and it's gonna go and flash the stock bootloader and for any reason if you guys can't see these commands because we are gonna be typing quite a few more of these commands into command prompts if you can't see it I have uh, created a step-by-step -step guide a written step-by-step -step guide down below in the video description uh, so you can actually go ahead and just copy and paste each of these commands into command prompt easily instead of typing them out manually if you do prefer that which is a lot easier <laughs> in my opinion and for anyone Okay, so the next thing we gotta do is type in fastboot space reboot dash bootloader, enter. Okay, now we have to flash the radio, so we're gonna type in fastboot space flash space radio space radio tab. So just like this, like I said earlier, if you want to copy and paste it, link is down below. So flash radio and radio. Yep, that's correct. Now we gotta press enter, and now it's sending the radio. And this will take just a few seconds longer than the other one. Okay, now let's reboot the bootloader again. So we're gonna type in fastboot space reboot dash bootloader, enter. Okay, let's try that one more time. I think I did the wrong um, command. You'll get this if you put in the wrong command. Uh, so we'll type in again, fastboot space reboot, there we go, dash bootloader, enter. There we go, so now we rebooted the bootloader right there. So I did the wrong command earlier. And now we're gonna do the big one. So the big one is fastboot space dash w space update space image and you can just press tab so it's fastboot dash w space update space image right there and then go and press enter and this one will take about uh two to three minutes and don't worry, don't worry about these two popping up um does not contain this and does not contain that um don't worry about those three um it's always it always comes out like that so you have nothing to worry about there um, so now it's doing this whole thing. Um, this process will take about five minutes. Once it is done, your phone will automatically reboot. So I'll be back once it's done rebooting. Okay, so it just finished up. As you can see, finished total time, 97 seconds. So it took a minute and a half. And now it's booting up. And since we did do a factory reset um, and we just installed the stock uh, images, um, this boot up will take about another five minutes. So be sure to be patient. Um, it should take no longer than five minutes. So um, I'll be back once it's done uh, booting up. Okay, so I've been waiting here for more than five minutes for my phone to boot up and looks like I got stuck in a boot loop, ironically. Um, so if you're stuck in a boot loop, go ahead and unplug your phone, then hold down the power button. And this, this method will only pertain for people who got stuck on this boot animation loop. So just keep holding on the power button. Okay, so once it once you hold down the power button and it shut off, sorry, it might have gotten cut off. Uh, but once the screen is off, we're going to go ahead and enter into recovery mode and do a factory reset. Uh, so we're going to press the volume up, volume down, and power button. And once you do feel a vibration, let go of the power. Okay, you'll be at the start screen. Press the volume up twice into recovery mode, then power button to enter into recovery mode. And this is going to enter us into stack recovery mode where you can go ahead and do a factory reset, clear the cache as well. All right, so I did expect this, uh, a, dead, okay, a dead Android. Um, if you do come across the screen, you're gonna press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time, a couple times. So all three at the same time, a couple of times, uh, just repeat it. Okay, nope. Okay, so as you can see, just keep pressing them a couple times. I pressed it three times to get it to work. Um, and now, let's go ahead and let's, I hope you guys can see that. Um, you can go all the way down to wipe data slash factory reset. So that's the third one down using the volume up and down and then select the power button to select it. And then go all the way down to yes and select it. And this is going to go ahead and format everything, do a factory reset, and this will fix your boot loop. Um, we're all, we are also going to be cleaning the cache. So I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so when I finished up in about 30 seconds, we are also going to do wipe cache partition. So go all the way down to wipe cache partition, the very last one, I believe, and select the power button, and it will automatically clear the cache, and this will be a, a fairly quick one, so it shouldn't take too long for cleaning the cache. And yes, I was right. Um, cache is cleared. Now we're going to go ahead and select reboot system now. So just select the power button, and it's going to reboot your phone. And now this time, if you were stuck on a boot loop, this will fix the boot loop. Um, like I was stuck on a boot loop. So it doesn't happen to everyone. It will happen to some people. And those people, that's how you fix it, um, just in case. So I'll be back once it's done booting up. All right, so just a few minutes later, my phone finally booted up. My Nexus 5. And yes, I'm not stuck on a boot loop anymore. So that's how you fix it, guys. Um, but we have one more thing to do, and that is to lock the bootloader. Um, so we need to go and lock that up so um, it's all fixed up um, and you only need to follow this rest of the procedure um, if you're planning on sending it back to Google, LG uh, or anything like that. Um, you can leave it unlocked if you'd like, it's not going to affect your phone at all. 
Um, but if you unlock it, it's gonna uh, it's gonna be um, safer, I guess, if you ever plan on sending it back to the manufacturer or Google or your carrier. Uh, so I would recommend this if you're already unrooted. Uh, just why not? Just do that one extra step. Uh, so let's go ahead and power off your phone one more time. We are almost done. A couple more steps and we will be done. All right. So once it's powered off, press the volume up, volume down, and power button all at the same time. Once you do feel a vibration, let go of the power. All right. So we'll be the start screen. Go and plug in your phone via micro USB once again, and we are going to be typing in one more command, and we'll be done. Okay, so with us in command prompt once again, make sure you're still at desktop, then unroot Nexus 5 folder. If you close it out, just come back to this point of desktop and unroot Nexus 5, and then we're typing in fastboot space OEM lock, and this is going to lock our bootloader. Um, so before you go and show that, I just want to show you guys that it's actually it says unlocked, so lock state unlocked, and we want to go and unlock that up. So your carriers or Google never knows that you ever modified it. Um, so just type that in and then press enter and boom, it's done. Now let me show you on the screen. It says lock state locked. So there we go. We are locked up. Um, now just go and press the power button and your phone will fully boot up. Okay, so now we are done guys. Um, it fully booted up. You can go ahead and set up your screen, put in your email, Wi-Fi and all that other good stuff. Um, I'm just going to go and skip this and show you that everything is fully functional. And you can also go ahead and unplug your phone as well. Um, so that's good too. So I'll just give it a few seconds. All right, so I finished the setup screen. I just went and skipped everything. And as you can see, everything is fully functional. You know, on 100% stock rooted, all the apps are moved, all the settings, as you can see, everything is back to 100% stock normal. We can even go into settings and I'll show you at about phone. And as you can see, you are on Android version 4.4.4. And my screen is horribly dirty. <laughs> Let me go and clean that up, guys. All righty. And now I can go all the way down to Android version 4.4.4. And you got KitKat right there. And as you can see, you got all the little Easter eggs there too. Um, so there you go. That is how you unroot it, guys, on a Windows computer, Mac computer, uh, annotation somewhere here or a link down below. All the files that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below as well. And a written step-by-step -step guide is also in the video description down below as well. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom of the fan corner right there. I really do appreciate it, guys, all that support you, do, you guys do give me. I really do appreciate it. And of course, there's going to be a lot more Nexus 5 content coming in the very new feature. So you guys are in, a, in for a really good treat. Um, a lot of custom ROMs, rooting, clock or mod, tips, maybe Wi-Fi tether, all these hacks, mods, and all that other great stuff just for the Nexus 5. So be sure to stay tuned, guys, because you guys are going to love this channel for the Nexus 5 and all the other Android devices I do own. Um, and that's about it, guys. Link down below for all the files. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Plus. Those, th those three places are also excellent places to get in contact with me if you have questions about this unrooting guide or anything else related to Android. I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.